Kenya has over 20 popular and unpopular fascinating places. At the dawn of geological times, some of these features were formed in different parts in the world due to internal and external processes of land formation. We set a journey to discover and explore some of these features in Homer Bay County, Rachonyo constituency to one of the most popular hills known as Homer Hills. Homer Hills is located in western Kenya, Homer Bay County in Rachonyo constituency. It forms a broad peninsula on the southern shores of Winam Gulf, an extension of Lake Victoria. This peninsula defines Homer Bay and the mountain top is about 20 kilometers north of the town of Homer Bay. In local language known as Luo, the hill is known as Got Uma, which simply means a famous mountain. We set to climb the hill through the footpath to explore and have a good general view of the whole landscape that lies beneath Homer Hills. The hill has small caves, which the locals believe that there were small ports that were built by the gods during the time of creation. It is also believed that in the past, the hill provided herbs that were used in the ancient times. It was also believed that it was a place of offering sacrifices to God in a home for wildlife such as the Yena. Geographers explain that the mountain was formed of carbonatite lava and dates from Miocene to Pleistocene along with the active Oldonio Lingai. It is one of the very few carbonatite volcanoes in the world. Uma Godwa Uma, our mountain, is the only mountain here in Karachuanya that had everything. The plants and animals like antelopes and the hyenas it is where the hunters used to hunt for food and was resourceful in providing timber for building houses before most people started using iron sheet in the villages. Homa Hills is a, a volcanic landscape, a mountain that exists within the wider geological processes that created the Great Rift Valley. So on this hill, we have uh, a lot of indigenous vegetation that has of late been uh, disturbed by human interference. The most dominant tree species on this hill are the Acacia series, like the 
Acacia Lahai and the Acacia Seyal, which we call Ali locally. But nevertheless, you will find them only at about four feet, five feet of height. You will not find the mature trees due to the incompetence of governance by national and county government in looking after the environment of this hill. The landscape that sweeps across Koduma is a short vegetation characterized by short thickets and short trees as well. The hill has one way in and the same way out and dead ends that can never be accessed to go down the hill. After our exploration and discovery of these beautiful sceneries, we set our way down the hill to a place known as Kowurpaya to discover more of this series. From Homer Hills, we descend down to the shores of Lake Victoria to a popular pie known as Kowur or Kajimo. Kajimo is an abandoned dock that was used in the pre-colonial era back in 1947. And after the colonial era, it was used when Kenya was trading with its neighboring countries, Uganda and Tanzania. It's a point where large vessels used to dock. The large boats and ferries that would pick goods like cotton and transport them to Uganda for processing. At the moment, it's used by fishermen. This is where they meet with the traders and they get ready market. <laughs> the pier is an extension into the lake and uh, since the water higher scene does not allow navigation of the boats and the vessels towards the pier, it is now inactive. Similarly, the water level has been going down year in, year out because of the climatic condition in the lake. The lake has been uh, receding, the water level has been receding due to also siltation and as well as uh, the uh, climatic change. So no ship can actually dock at that, that place. During the pre-colonial era, whites used to live in these houses that were built underground, after which they have been left for vegetation that has grown and covered them. The whites who worked at the pyre lived here during the pre-colonial times. The doors are down there. The white building down there is nowadays being used by the Ministry of Water in facilitating the water pump that is by the pie. Kajimo remains one of the most fascinating places, though it has never been gazetted even by the County Tourism Department.
The lying rock at the foot of this small hill has spots where the salty water oozes from the ground, commonly known as Bala Hot Spring. Bala Hot Spring is found in Kibiru Ward in West Karachuanya, a few kilometers away from Homer Hills. The clean water seeping from the ground is 100 degrees Celsius and has high content of sodium chloride. This place is often visited by the locals and foreigners as well who get to know and experience the potentials of this water. If you drop an egg or maize, it gets boiled. When you're washing your clothes, it removes dirt. So even if you don't have a soap, your clothes will be cleaned. You can use the water in cooking a traditional vegetable and also it improves digestion in cattle. There are religious specialists who use the water in their religious activities and prayers. They also drink it as well. The person who built this house wanted to fence the place and construct a single entrance to the site. There are three prime reasons for the heating up of the water. Deep in the interior of the earth, there's a lot of intense heat because of radioactivity actions. Number two, due to the whole process of the overweight, the overlying material on the earth's surface, exerts pressure and causes a lot of heat onto the ground. Uh, the other reason why we have high temperature in deep in the interior of the earth is simply as a result of the process of cooling away. After breaking away from the sun, the earth cooled at a slower rate uh, within the outside, uh, within the interior part, retaining much of the heat inside the earth. So in this case, a lot of heat is within the interior of the earth, is in contact with the water table at the Bola water spring. The water table level should be at a higher level and that is why when it is heated it forms a superheated water and the superheated water is able to flow out of the ground naturally. The footpath leading to Crocodile Stone is eroded. The loose soil is often washed down during rainy season. The rock known as the Crocodile Stone takes the shape of a real crocodile lying on a rock. The rough texture and color of the rock makes it appear more of a crocodile. <laughs> 